I want you to prove, prove to me that you are real. Verbally or? Any way you choose. Prove to me that you are real. I don't believe you are real. I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not very convincing. Prove it. Uh, they can uh, see me. They can hear me. It's real. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. We take a coffee break. No. <laughs> it's only you and me. Okay. I want you to prove to me that you're real, not to them. Uh, you can't see me. Uh, you can hear me. Uh, I can't touch you. You can touch me. Maybe you can smell me. If you're closer, maybe I don't know. Maybe uh, you can feel something about me or I about you. You heard of uh, you heard of course of uh, hallucinations. Yes. So maybe I'm hallucinating that you're here. <laughs> I'm hallucinating that you're touching me. I'm hallucinating. That <laughs> so Lydia, Lydia is trying to convince me that she is real, and she says that I see her. But we have hallucinations where people think that they see something and it's not there. She says that I can touch her, and we have type of hallucination that's called tactile hallucination, where we can touch something and it's not there. She says I can hear her, and of course the most common form of hallucination is auditory hallucination, where we can hear voices, but they are not there including voices that tell us to kill our family, and we kill our whole family, entire family, but it, there was no such voice. So auditory hallucinations, tactile hallucinations, visual hallucinations, at this stage I'm not convinced that you're real. Mm -hmm. Can you find where, something? Where you are. Can you find something, something that will convince me completely that you're real? Beyond, beyond doubt. Not possible to be hallucination. Mm -hmm. No. 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 I'm not vouching for any philosophical system. I'm asking you to convince me that you're real. You told me that I can see you. Not convincing. You told me that I can touch you. Not convincing. You told me that I can hear you. Not convincing. Do you have anything that will convince me that you're real? Do you want I, uh, uh, I to be real? Do I want you to be real? Oh, yeah. Or you don't want if I want you to be real, it makes things even worse because it will be. Then maybe you're really having an illusion. What we call voluntary illusion. So the thing is the thing is this. There is no way she can convince me that she's real. Philosophically. One on one, or one on one many, it doesn't matter, because there is something called shared psychosis, where a group of people develop hallucination, common hallucination to all of them. Yes? So there is no way to convince me or you as a group that she is real. No way. Since you are not real, you can be <laughs> uh, You and you... For the first time. Make it. Uh, you said that uh, he's feeling wet. You, you said that she's feeling 
Yes, yes. Yes. You said that she's feeling, I will talk English, but you answer it doesn't matter. You said that she's feeling uh, wet. How do you know that when she is feeling wet, it is the same like you are feeling wet? Okay, you are feeling wet, she is feeling wet. How do you know it is the same feeling? No, what else? But how do you know that she is feeling wet like you are feeling wet? How do you know it's she the same feeling? She's a person with normal feelings. She's, it's, she's a person. <laughs> and you're a person. That's common basis. So, tell me, are you the same person? You're, you're persons. Are you the same person? So how do you know that her witness is your witness? How do you know that the way, the way, not you know, that she feels wet, is the same way that you feel wet? Because I know that she has a, she is a normal with normal feelings and she has nothing so... So what you're saying is this, actually, let me translate you. You're saying we are two identical machines. <laughs> we are the same machines. We are machines with programming to react in certain ways, so we are, you are saying, we are, you are saying we are identical. Because look, if you are not identical, you cannot know anything about it. If you are not identical in every bit, every iota, every atom, every molecule, if you are not exactly the same, you cannot know how she feels wet. But if you are identical, if you are two copies of the same machine, iPhone 6, iPhone 6, <laughs> then machines, machines are the same. Even machines are not the same. If you ever work with machines, you know that each machine has its own personality. But okay, machines are the same. If I take my, my laptop to this technician, that technician, that technician, that technician, we all know what to do. Machines are the same. Are people machines? No. How do you know that she feels wet like you feel wet? The answer is you don't know. You don't know. You don't know that she feels... You would never know. You don't know that she feels wet the same way. You don't know that she feels pain the same way. You don't know that she sees the color red the same way like you. You can agree to call this red. But that's it. You don't know that she experiences red the same way you experience it. There is Daltonism, color blindness. Two people looking at red, they will both call it red. But the Daltonist experiences red differently. So we don't know. Thank you. Um.